Coming up. I was a server at a nightclub. A fryer flipped over and burned my entire back. Our next guest experienced tragedy and pain when she suffered second and third degree burns on her back and legs, but she lived to tell her story and inspire others in her children's book called Lillian is All Right. Please welcome author Julie St. Fleur, who joins us now via Skype. Julie. Hi, so, hi. Uh, Julie. A pleasure. Hi. Welcome. Can you just give our viewers some background in terms of that night that changed your life forever? I was a server at a nightclub, and some of my customers got into an altercation and began shooting. During everyone running, a fryer flipped over and burned my entire back. Wow. Mm. And obviously, You've spent so many weeks and months of recovery. How, how is your body now? When I was initially burned, I underwent four procedures, including debreeding and skin grafts. And then I spent the rest of that year in physical therapy. Um, I'm fully healed now as in motion, but I do have scars on my entire back and the back of my legs. But I'm just so glad to hear that you were able to heal without... Yeah contraction deformities, uh, limitation of movement, that, that's a huge plus. So you wrote a book about your experience. Lillian is all right. Tell us about the book. Yes, I wrote my story in a form of a child's character. She was burned the same way I was, and she goes through the same emotions that I went through about being sad and just hiding away in my room and everything that I went through, she goes through as well. Well, you are absolutely beautiful inside and out. And I want to thank you for sharing your story. A while back, I actually saw a social media post about your book. It was from another burn survivor who was on our show before. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I was like, she's amazing. I want to meet her and I get to meet you. So it's an honor to meet you. <laughs> thank um, you. But I do want to know how this experience has changed you. It changed me in the way that I now see that there's purpose in everything that we go through and that I had to learn to be honest with my emotions when I was sad, when I was angry, when I was feeling guilt. But in the end, everything was all right, just like I wrote in the book. Wow, so powerful. And now you're in the late phase of, of your scarring. We know there are things that can be done. There are fade creams and other things soften up the quality of the scars. Laser treatments are potentially something you can do to help improve the quality of those scars. So, you know, Julie, we, you are so awesome. We want you to continue you. your journey, so we want you to find what's best for you and your body. So, Cypristine Dermatology Group, right in your area, has agreed to evaluate you and treat your discoloration, your scars, and uh, you so other concerns you have. Thank you so much, you guys. Best of luck to you, Julie, and, and all Thank your future you. success. Let's take a quick